This location at Drexel is um, where we receive all the refugees that have been released by ICE and Border Patrol. On any given day, it can be from like 500 guests coming in to like we've received, I think, up to 1,800 one day. And what we're doing here at Casalitas is just trying to help them have a place to do their travel plans. So they have crossed the border, they've got their paperwork, they have a sponsor, and now they need to make contact with their sponsor and explain to them, I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and I need to get to wherever they're going. We use volunteers in clothing, where we distribute the clothing. We use volunteers at intake, because every guest who comes in gets entered into a database, and so we have volunteers doing that. We have volunteers at the airport. We have volunteers, as I said, at the bus station. Um, have volunteers right here helping. A lot of them it's because of the gang violence in these countries and the cartels and the drug wars and stuff going on in El Salvador, Guatemala, you know, all those Central American countries. We're seeing a lot of African countries too, from Senegal, Chad, Mauritania. Um, we see a few people, not very many, from China, um, from, from India. And so everyone that we see has already been given a temporary resident status. They've already been assigned a number and they're waiting for the court case to be resolved, which can take years. End of March, the funding that was coming from the federal government to the county and, and then to, I think, to a certain extent, the city, that is running out. Now it's either waiting for Congress to do something, whatever, if they will, and then looking for other funding sources that might come, you know, from private donors, from foundations, from the Red Cross, you know, any other humanitarian aid that's out there that that CCS, Catholic Community Services, could apply for. So we've got some great staff here that they're going to have to go search for a job elsewhere. That means that we as volunteers, we need more volunteers yeah. to do with the 30 people we're doing. And, you know, and so that's, that's really an afraid thing right there. If they said, well, we can't keep two facilities open, they would probably close this and then go just focus on Welcome Center. Well, Welcome Center can only hold 180 people. So then, you know, if you got 500 people dropped off today, and that's, stuffing them in. and that's stuffing them in, then that means, you know, there's 300 and some odd people on the street, is what that means. Where if we could keep this open, I think they're saying that we might be able to do like 600 people, maybe, both locations. So that's less people on the street. So that's the whole goal.